Chicago has its iconic elevated system. It's almost 100 years old. The way that the city has grown and evolved and communities of infill and development has come around the stations is really inspiring to see how that has been developed around the city. One of the really cool things that got a lot of press that we did on the project was taking the Vautravers building, I think it was built in 1891 and was occupied for around like 125 years. And when you look at the system, how it was built, and when you talk about how communities um, grow around transit as that spine, there was this, you know, a kink in the, in the alignment around this historic building. So CTA did a significant investment to basically pick up the building and then shift it around, I think, just 29 feet to the west and then four feet to the south in order to make room to fix out that kink on the red and purple line and be able to make the track straight, improve run times, improve our, the headways and reliability of the system. We were selected back in 2018 to be the lead design firm for the red and purple modernization program directly with Walsh Floor, who is the main contractor building you know, the multi-billion dollar program uh, for the CTA. Coming from working on other transit systems across the country, I was really kind of starstruck and fell in love with the city. We have a very interesting kind of legacy system. Working on a project that is large and multidisciplinary, like the CTA project, gives people the opportunity to be exposed to so many different disciplines of engineering to then be able to identify where you might like to focus and also help you expand your network within a company like Stantec that has a really broad reach across North America. I wear a couple different hats at Stantec. Um, I'm our transit and rail sector lead for Canada and the US. Um, and also locally here in Chicago, I'm our transportation manager um, responsible for growing our, our, our transit and rail practice here in the, in the Chicago and the Midwest area. I initially started as an intern at Stantec. Um, I actually cut my internship a little bit shorter so that I could travel uh, to Ghana and work uh, with Engineers Without Borders, um, supporting their district planning office, planning some of their infrastructure projects. For me, that, that experience was transformational in that it helped me learn the value of community. When I came back and I wasn't really sure where I was going to focus, I kept thinking about that opportunity and that connection to communities. And you know, coming back to Stantec after that experience and working on a transit project, that came full circle for me. And I was able to see you know, how our projects are impacting communities and how I can still bring that feeling of how we can create that connection in a lot of our major cities.